when I first came to Portland um, last December, I was just in a really hard, hard place, just very dark and um, isolated and not knowing what to do or how to move forward. I was alone, like I was, I was alone. Um, then we were on the verge of homelessness or homeless a uh, few times and uh, just being low income, just addiction issues, single parent, you know, um, trauma, it's just a lot. I'm a survivor of childhood sexual abuse. I contracted HIV. And that's where I really started to just explore the world of illicit drugs. I don't know if I really want to stay around for this. And really contemplated, contemplated ending it. When I was a child, I went, I was more a church, member of the LDS church. I didn't realize that I was gay. If the church didn't accept me, how's the gay community going to accept me? And so when the drugs came along, I didn't care if I fit in. That's what I've been doing in the last five and a half months, is, is working on recovery. And it just was just done. I was done. I was done. Quest was like a lifeline. Um, suddenly I had things that I could do, ways that I felt like I could help myself to keep moving forward. It's just like this world <laughs> opened up. It's like, have you heard of Quest? Quest has yoga and acupuncture. I'm like, what's Quest? What? No way. I mean, it was all kind of surprising, all the things that were available. They hook you. You go in for one thing and then you hear, oh, they do this, this, they do this too. Opening up to the uniqueness of each individual person and how it's going to look exactly your own way every time. And the more space there is for that, the more potential there is for the growth and the healing. They really want you to experience life and not just go into treatment. I love that sense of community that's being built that's that's very new to me where like I can walk in and I like have people that know me that are smiling to see me and I want to be with and I love nutrition. I, I love helping out with it. Companionship, just community talking. Why I like it so much. It reminds me of my grandma's cooking because she'd always cook for the family and then watching her face glow with watching us enjoy the food. There is no place like this place. There really isn't. It's really powerful to feel so like taken care of and yeah, valued is a good word for it. This is a family here. It's not just a business, but it's a family. Feeling this shift and I just see how everything has come together to keep me moving forward to enter into this new stage of my life and how Quest has been like such a key piece in that. You know, going from a little gay boy in an LDS church, not fitting in to a community that accepts me for who I am is, is a big deal for me. Today, because I'm integrated and feeling my feelings, I can actually feel love. People say like a life beyond their wildest dreams, and it's like my life isn't quite there yet, but my life is getting there. It's like I never thought, you know, I could do a lot of this stuff I'm doing, so. They just provide so much to create my own story, supporting me in my journey, not to make it a certain way, but to meet me where I'm at. So I have all of these things that I can take and utilize to create this beautiful thing for myself. Because one of the most fundamental things is that when I, and I think I can speak for a lot of my peers, are here, we don't feel like we're being pathologized. I don't feel like I'm a patient. I don't feel like I'm sick, that I'm going to my place to fix me. I feel like a member of a community coming to see my friends and coming to see not my doctors and not my keepers and not my judgers and not my, you know, my, my gods which dictate my health. I am seeing people who co-create my health with me.